Now I have no longer sort of political or temporal responsibility. Uh, I proudly, happily, voluntarily sort of handed over uh, my sort of, say, political authority uh, to elected political leadership. And not only me personally complete retirement, but also almost four century old tradition, the Lama institution automatically become the head of temple and spirituality. Now that and the fifth Dalai Lama, usually called Great Fifth Dalai Lama, he started this sort of tradition. Now Compare him, small 40 Dalai Lama <laughs> actually ended that because time changed. Uh, I always believe world belongs to humanity. Canada belongs to Canadian people, not your party or other party. At <laughs> <laughs> right. the last year when I was in America, I also express America belongs to about 300 million of American people, not a Republican Party or Democratic Party like that. So, uh, naturally, Tibet not belong to Dalai Lama. Tibet belongs to 6 million Tibetan people. So the best way to rule people by the people is the democratic system. It's the best. In spite of some drawbacks, uh, a democratic system is the best system. So since my childhood, I have some sort of uh, admiration. So since '59, we uh, we start work for democratization. Then 2001, we already achieved elected political leadership. Then my position is a semi-retired position. Now, 10 years passed. Then last year, you see, it seems uh, you see, the, the way our community, the participation of the choosing their leader and voting seems quite mature. So I felt now this is the right time to uh, sort of hand it over and I resign from that. So Tashi Wondula, one of the candidates, but he defeated. Tizidam Jala, not here, he also sort of lose his election. Right? <laughs> then the Losa Senge win. Now our speaker, both of them born in India, grown in India, Educated in India. And Los Angeles, uh, the final education in Harvard University. So I really uh, feel really happy. Now, younger generation really have the ability to take full responsibility. It's a wonderful. It should be. Our struggle, you see, uh, sort of one ancient nation's right. This is people's right, Tibetan people's right. So the struggle must carry by people themselves, should not rely on individual person. So uh, here I often see telling one my secret. The very day I formally handed over, that night, very unusual sound sleep. <laughs> so I really happy, really happy. Now I can uh, devote my time and energy more on my two sort of commitments. That is commitment for promoting human values in order to achieve happier 
mentally happier person, happier family, happier community, uh, finally happier uh, world, seven billion human beings. Uh, and then second, the promotion of religious harmony. 